Hello everybody, let us start truth table approach. Today's topic is system safety quantification truth table approach. The contents of today's presentation, we first describe truth tables with different gates and gate or gate and mixture of and and or gate and as well as we will show you that when the, the traditional um, approach is not working and under such situation how truth table will help us to compute the availability and unavailability of a system and we will show also some of the examples and this lecture is prepared from the book probabilistic risk assessment and management for engineer and scientist written by Komamutu and Henley 2000 published by Uwili. Let us first understand what is truth table. Truth table actually list all combinations, all combinations of basic events states. Then we will find out for which combination the top event exists and which combination top event does not exist. For example, if we consider a fault tree having two inputs that means two basic events and top event is linked with an AND gate with an AND gate. Then what are how many states or combinations possible here. So, from the components point of view either the component ex failure exists or not exist. So, as a result because of two components, so we will be having 2 to the power 2 combinations. which is 4 combinations. So, the 4 combinations first one is basic event B 1 exist, B 2 exist. So, if both B 1 and B 2 occur then top event occurs. So, top event exist. Then what is the probability? Probability of basic event B 1 exist is probability B 1 and B 2 exist is probability B 2. So, as both the events are independent and linked with AND gate top event exist probability will be probability B 1 into probability B 2. So, this is a combination or a system state where the top event exist means top event uh, system is unavailable. Then second one the suppose B 1 exist B 2 not exist because of AND gate top event does not occur. So, system is available. So, this is this will not contribute to unavailability calculation. Third one that first B 1 not exist means it is working B 2 not uh, exist means not working then also top event will be no exist. Uh, so, that means top system is not unsuccessful in the fourth one both B 1 and B 2 are working. So, system also will work. So, this will also not contribute to unavailability calculation. So, as a result what is the unavailability here the probability of top event exist this is one situation this is the first combination when both B 1 and B 2 exist and then the resultant probability is probability B 1 into probability B 2 as B 1 and B 2 are independent events. So, as a result the system unavailability QST is known by this equation QST is probability B 1 and probability B 2. In fact, this thing you have done earlier also when we have given AND gate fault tree then we have, we have seen that the top event is the intersection of the bottom events and the probability of top event uh, is basically that that multiplication of the bottom event probabilities when the 
basic events or bottom events are independent in nature. So, then this is the equivalent representation of AND gate in terms of fault tree. Okay. So, then what is system unavailability? System unavailability is the probabilities that mean a summation of set of probabilities in the table yields the system unavailability QST. So, where top event exists that probability you have to add. Now, here only one situation. So, that is why this, this probability is considered. If we want to find out the unavailability which is 1 minus QST or the, the other situations probabilities sum of these 3. So, that is why a complementary summation gives the system unavailability. This is the this is what is truth table. So, in truth table you find out all possible combinations and then you find out that for which of the combination the top event exist means the system failure takes place for which of the combination the top event does not exist means the system failure will not takes place or basically you can find out the the combination with the system states whether it is failing or not failing. So, the system state uh, when uh, or the combination when the system fails that leads the probability of that combination lead to the unavailability and the system uh, and the combination for which the system uh, state is successful that combination probability will lead to the system availability and some of the two will be obviously one. So, what will happen if we just see the equivalent truth table for OR gate? When you use OR gate, it basically talks about if B1 occurs, top event occur, B2 occur, top event occur, B1, B2 both occur, top event occur. So, that means there will be three, three combinations when the system will be unavailable only one combination with both B 1 and B 2 does not occur, occur that time only system will be available that is what is given here system not top event not exist means system is available. So, then probability of first three where system top event exist that means system is unavailable. So, you calculate summed up the probability this one, this one and this one, this is what is done here. So, if B 1 exists, the, probab the probability is probability of B 1, if B 2 exists, probability of B 2, if then if not exist B 1, B 2, B 2 bar, so that is why B 2 bar is here, here B 1 bar is there and then B 1 bar is nothing but 1 minus B 1, so that combination ultimately lead to this probability. Now, that that uh, already uh, seen by you means this equation you have already seen if there is an OR gate with two inputs what is the probability of E probability of B 1 plus probability of B 2 minus probability of B 1 into probability B 2 that you have seen. So, truth table is also giving the same thing because it is equivalent representation. Okay, so, this is OR gate. Now, using this uh, principle, we have given little complicated one, it is not exactly only AND or OR, but the combination of AND and OR gate and here how many uh, basic events are there? There are three basic events, we have written A, B and C, otherwise you can write B 1, B 2 and B 3. So, there are three basic, e basic events. So, each having two states, so there will be 8 to the power 3 equal to 8 combinations. Now, be, because you know the system configuration and, and also and then or gate combinations, so finally, what will happen? You will find out some of the combinations when top event exists, some of the combination top event will not exist. For example, this is AND gate. 
if this AND gate then A must occur plus because of this is OR gate either B or C or both B and C must occur so that the top event will occur. So, that is what is seen here. For example, suppose when all the bottom event does not uh, do not exist, top event also do not exist. Suppose the first one um, C exist, other two not exist, not exist. So, similarly not exist, not exist, not exist. The combination when A exists means A is failed, B does not fail, but C is failed then definitely top event will occur. So, this you see that three condition when A exist this is a must because of AND gate. Now, either B or C or both must occur here C exists that is why top event exists here B exists that is why top event exists here both A and B and C exist that is why top event exists. So, this is the combination. Now, you know because of this two state components so, you know the probability. So, as they are independent you are just multiplying those independent event probabilities and then system is unavailable when you sum up all those probabilities. Okay. So, this is what is truth table. Now, we will see uh, one interesting example here. This example we have taken from the book Komamoto and Henle. Here, the issue is uh, I am I am just reading out the description of the plant. Plant has two identical parallel systems, so known as stream A and stream B. So stream A and stream B, they are identical but parallel system. So, both the stream consist of one pump and one filter in series and two stream are in parallel. Okay. So, now the failure rate of pumps both the pumps pump A and pump B both the pumps are failure rate for both the pumps is 0.04 and both the filter is 0.08 per day failure rate here this one 0.04 per day and this is also 0.04 per day here 0.08 per day and 0.08 per day okay and and you see that another issue is that the uh, if the pumps or the filters fail then they, they can be repaired and the repair time is also given that this is the mean in terms of mean time to repair for pumps and filters 5 and 10 hours respectively. So, that means MTTR for pumps is 5 hour and MTTR for filter is 10 hour. Okay. So, this is a system it is basically combined system that failure and repair both the processes are involved. Now, as a plant engineer, so your full output is possible only when both the both the stream work. So, that means the full output combina con con combination is both stream A and stream B at least that means two parallel stream must work. Otherwise, if one of them work then that gives you half output and if none of them work gives you zero output. Suppose, you want to improve the system because in order to get full output and where full output requires both the stream to streams to work and then it is quite likely that the one of them may fail and under such situation there will be huge loss. So, as a result the management wants to improve the system and they have three options now one is 
keep the status quo means the two parallel stream and proceed or add or see two alternate approaches one is add a third identical stream so that means one one stream will be will be redundant or standby or you add a pump which is capable of pumping slurry slurry to both the filters so as a result what happened if we include these two alternatives with the existing one then we have three different choices one is maintain the status quo second one is add a third identical stream c and third one is add a third transfer pump which is capable of pumping slurry to both the filters so we want to see the availability and unavailability of each of the systems and then we want to know which one is best or which means which one we should uh, continue so that uh, if the uh, and uh, some more cost related data are available with us so with this view i am just explaining that how the ultimately uh, the traditional uh, series and parallel system as well as that minimum and an or gate system and then how the truth table approach will help us in finding out the unavailability availability as well as helping you to compare three different choices so this is a example but it can be it can be incorporated or augmented for more number of choices also and that is what is the basis of this presentation with reference to pump filter system i have taken this example and the re resulting calculation from the book written by kumamoto and henley probability risk assessment and management for engineers so you have three systems now this system this this you have to so the first one what is the assumption here that we are assuming that constant and fail, failure and repair rate for both pump and filters so if this is the case then you have seen earlier when we have discussed quantity quantification of basic events that time we have shown you that availability is a it can be measured by mean time to failure divided by mean time to failure and mean time to repair this means with this equation availability is measured now <clears throat> what is the mean time to failure for filter so filter failure part day is 0.08 that is the rate so then one by that rate will give you the mean time to failure and 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 what about the mean time to repair repair is basically 10 hours you have 24 hours a day so that's why 10 by 24 and 0.08 is also that much that is the rate per day so we have converted everything in terms of day and then you got the availability for filter is 0.97 please remember that both the filters are identical so its availability also identical means 0.97 in the same manner availability of pump is 0.99 each of the pump 0.99 okay so probability of filters that sense a a da, uh, that is the success is 0.97 probability of pump 0.99 that is what is computed now what we want in are interested to know when we will be getting the full production so we want to know availability for full so availability of full means both stream a and stream b should be successful so what is the probability of stream a successful when both pump pump and filter work similarly for stream b both pump b and filter b should work 
so here it is in series so this and this pump a and pump a filter a work simultaneously that probability will give basically from the intersection point to b it will come so that means it is a situation of like this that a is dot bar interaction a double dot double dot bar intersection of this b and b double dot that is written here so a is full is probability of this so now you know all those events are very independent so you are multiplying all the probabilities and you are getting this now what is the probability that of a a dash bar this is nothing but the availability of pump which is availability of pump is 0.99 and unavailable availability of filter is 0.97 so filter is this one 0.9 star pump 0.99 and b star that is also pump 0.99 so that is this one okay so 0.99 square and 0.77 a point nine seven square. That when you multiply the two, you are getting point nine two. So what is the inference from this example? Inference is that that for the probability that the system will be available for full production is point nine two. Now what will be the case for half production? If one of the two streams work, then half production. So there been either then now one of the two stream work means the either the stream a works or stream b works so stream stream a work is a dash bar intersection a double dash bar stream b works means b dash bar and b double dash bar intersection now one of them work that's why the union is given here union so it's some kind of or gate so for full production it's an and gate that full then and gate then stream a stream b and here half or gate stream a and stream b okay so that's why what happened now this is stream a and this one is stream b so probability stream a plus probability stream b minus the intersection of the two so as a result the that availability half for the system the probability is 0.9984 okay so that means that if your system is like this when you have you have some component in series and and then uh, then the resulting co component or similar another component in parallel so you can you can very easily with and and or gate combination you can find out the availability or as such unavailability of the system so we now for the first alternative or first choice when we have only two stream and then a is full and a is half the probability other way i can say the availability is calculated and the first one is 0.92 that is a is full availability half is 0.984 we will see the same thing how to calculate that a is full and a is half for the another uh, for the second alternative or second choice when we have three identical stream a b and c for three identical stream a b c so again the as identical that mean the pump a b and c they are availability or probability of uh, successfully working is 0.97 and then the okay a b c 0.99 and 0.97 so a star b star c star that is basically the filter and a dot uh, a dot b dot c dot or a dot b a double dot b double dot c dot filter this is so simple you know it is already written here so okay now what happened you have three identical streams but for full production 
you require two of the three should work so it is a voting gate combination so it is voting gate voting gate in terms of a s full as well as a s half for a s full two out of three stream must work that mean either two or three stream must work for half production one out of three means one or two or three that must work. So, now we use the binomial theorem that you have seen in the last class. So, here what happened the stream A availability, stream B availability and stream C availability they are same. So, their unavailability is also same. So, because of this assumption that means we have three, three, three different ways to uh, three different uh, streams each of having each stream is having equal probability of availability or unavailability. So, you can use the binomial theorem that is what we have discussed in last class. Now, using this what are the combination for A is full? So, it is basically sum of or other way let me make it. So, 2 2 out of 3 so 3 choose 2 and some combination will be probability will be there plus 3 choice 3 and the probability will be there. So, when we are saying that 3 suppose the stream A, stream B, stream C their availability is what probability of A and probability of A dot and probability of A double dot bar success. So, similarly second one, similarly third one and as because each of the streams and A, A, A dot, B dot, C dot that bars they are basically what we have said that they are equal. So, we can write only in terms of A no problem there. So, this is the first part success part it is square. So, this square so 3 C 2 will give you 3. Now, you have two multiplication one of this probability times square and what is the complement? Complement will be 1 minus this to the power 3 minus 2 1. Then plus 3 C 3, 3 C 3 mean 1 and then this the first part this cube and the second part to the power 0. So, that binomial theorem we have used earlier. So, this is your probability that your system will give you full production 0.9954. Now, then for A s half what you are doing here A s half means 1 minus unavailability. So, that since you have complete system means no production. So, if one of the stream work half production will be there. So, there are three identical streams. So, I one my none of the stream works that is no production. So, 1 minus no production will be A s half. So, here this is the this is the probability for this is not working, this is not working, this is not working as three identical streams are there they are multiplied and you got this probability value. Okay. So, I think now you understand application of binomial theorem here. Then come to the third one. Third one it is it is, it is a different one. Here it is not a series system or parallel system or combination of series and parallel pure series and parallel system. It is a bridged network. So, that in the earlier that n and or combination approach whatever we have seen earlier that that cannot be applied easily here unless you can make its equivalent representation, but under such bridge network it is difficult. So, here we are not using those traditional way of doing not traditional the general that series parallel or n and or combinations here we are using truth table. So, so now how we are using truth table user C, how many possibilities are there? 
okay so possibilities now question is that pump how many pumps three pumps and two filters so how many component five component so each component can have how many state two states so that's why the combination will be to the power 5 equal to 32 you see the 32 combinations are written here so first combination w means working everything working what will happen full output is yes possible or not working half obviously full is there half is there second one as per as per requirement at least two of the stream two stream work so that's why second one if first four work full possible half also possible in this manner like last one when all fails fail so you have 32 combinations now you see what you want to do you want to find out the as full okay or as half so you find out under which of the combination as full is w means working which of the combination as half is working so if you see carefully if the table you see that as full one first combination second combination fifth combination and seventeenth combination all other cases it is not possible as a result we are writing a s pool is summation of probability of rows 1 2 5 and 17 and you know that what is the working means what is the probability that values are known to you now if you if you find out the probability of the first row second row fifth row and seventeenth row and you add them you will be getting a s full is this now similarly you will find out the that means a s half now you see that how many the rows having w a plenty of rows is having w so w so you can write find out each of those rows with corresponding probabilities then row probabilities then sum up it is possible otherwise what happen as there are less number of f means failed case so first you may find out that qs failure half for half production first find out and then as half will be 1 minus that failure so it is 0.999 so this is the use of truth table so when you are not able to develop series parallel or combination so the uh, the simple formula not able you are not able to use it mathematically it is little cumbersome so that is better go for truth table and truth table means find out all combination but if you have plenty of uh, component then it is again very difficult because you know you have seen if there are 10 component 10 components in the system then 2 to the power 10 is 1032 this much combination will be there so again it, it is basically this enumeration will take lot of time it is a very difficult one again okay but nevertheless you can you can develop software program and generate it but this is a this is basically a, a good approach because the you will not miss anything there and you understand actually inside what is happening so now we know the availability unavailability for the different systems or alternatives or choices with with some more data you can find out which one is the best so what we have found out so far for existing plant probably availability full probability is 0.92 with with identical spare trim 0.9954 with spare pump 0.94 similarly for half availability of half okay now if we know some of the data like like what is the full cost of a pump including maintenance and installation if we know the full cost of filter including means installation maintenance etc and if we know that if the, the loss for not having full production or, or having half production 
then using this formula expected loss per day you will be able to find out what is the value of expected loss per day for three different three different alternatives so the formula is first is that what is the that number of pumps into cost of pump plus number of filter cost of filter plus that one my uh, that no production into probability of no production into cost of no, no production and probability of half production into cost of half production so with this formula you will be able to find out find out what are the expected loss per day now how do you find out that those these three things so the loss calculation the situations it is given because we are considering one day now if I, suppose if we consider one day there is no production or half production so then uh, if i say that this is your half production time then this is definitely the no production type so 1 minus half production will give you no production but when you, as you have seen in the truth table half production also include full production so that means this can be divided again two parts one is full production then remaining one will be only half production okay so now if i summed up full production and this this minus this plus this is nothing but a sub again if we sum up this plus this plus this this is nothing but 1. So, okay. so, these are the situation that is what is written here you see for full for full production loss 1 minus a is half into loss for half a is half mi minus a is full that is written here. Using this formula and the probability availability are known. So, now using this this and number of pumps its cost you found out that if you continue with existing plant the cost is dollar 323 per day if you if you go for the second alternate alternative that is plant with spare trim uh, then it is basically rupees 239 per day and if you go for the third third alternative plant with spare pump it is rupees 293 per day not rupees we have, we have used dollar dollar 293 per day okay so considering the expected cost the second alternative gives you the better result so what you have learned here today today you have learned that truth table approach and its equivalence with AND and OR gate with combination of AND and OR and situation where equivalent AND and OR is difficult to provide and truth table is basically complete enumeration and after that using truth table we have shown to you that what are the what are, what are, what are, what are the ways you can calculate availability unavailability and finally uh, finally we have seen that how different alternatives can be evaluated using the concept called expected cost so hope you have understood it thank you very much